Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm going to be doing some hole drilling today, and since hole drilling is called boring for a reason, I'm only going to be doing just one block, and I'll let you see how I do it and give you an idea of what I can do with this old piece of equipment that I got here. We already determined that I needed to have the center line of this seven inches away from the center line of the top link. Best way to get that is to put this out here at the end of this seven inch bar because I got two and a half inches of tube then this seven inch bar so the two and a half inches of steel plate which will be sticking out past the beam with a hole in the center here because that's going to get the most load of almost anything on here. It's, it's got a lot of leverage on it trying to push it away. This is going to be compressing this is going to be under tension so I need to have enough material on the back edge here to hold this thing up. And that's quarter inch plate. That'll take a lot of stress. So by the time I get two and a half inches plus seven, I'll be even. So I want to put this hole six inches away from the end. This three quarter inch bolt goes right through here. So I make my first cut six inches. One mark. There's another mark. There. These plates are marked for length. These box beams are marked for length. Now I have to mark width. This is a three inch box beam. So I go to one and a half inches. And just to make sure I've got everything centered, I mark it from the other side too. Mark this one. Now this isn't critical that I have this exactly dead center, but just good practice. That's two and a half inches wide, so I want to go down to inch and a quarter. That's good. Same thing here. Now I've got the prick punch in. I'm going to put the center punch in there. I've had people ask me, you've got a drill press out in the shop, you've got lathes and you've got all kinds of power drills, why in the world would you use this old clunky piece of iron? Well. That really nice grill press out in the garage has an electric motor. That electric motor relies on speed. So with the gearing, you can gear that motor down to the point where it can actually drill quite a bit. 
but it won't punch a three quarter inch hole through a piece of steel. This doesn't have the torque. This thing here, with his arm out all the way, I'm a foot from the center of that shaft. I can develop 300 foot pounds of torque on this lever. The other nice thing is, if I stop, it stops. No overrun, no flywheel effect. A lot more control. Eighteen nineties drill, doing a job in twenty nineteen. Not a bad deal. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.